Hi, I'm Seamless, and today is Tuesday, which means it's time for a new FL Basics tutorial. This one is going to be a continuation of the series on Harbor, and uh, this one is about uh, the XYZ stuff over here. X, we have Y, and we have Z. Z. Uh, yeah. If you middle click, if you scroll, you can move Z around. If you middle click and drag it, you can drag that around. So that's interesting. So uh, I've mentioned this before, but Harmer, in terms of parameters and modifiers, works in a similar way to Citrus does, in the sense that there's a tab, which brings us all the parameters, and a tab, which brings us all the modifiers. And in the modifiers, we have modulation X, Y, and Z mapping. So for anything, any of these parameters that has a, a parameter, let's say let's go to um, the filter, filter one frequency, it's this guy. <laughs> We can go to the uh, modulation X mapping, and then there it is. We have uh, the mapping, which is by default going to be whatever is zero, zero effect, that is to say, on uh, the original uh, modif on the original parameter. So if I did this, for example, this would be. You're pretty standard, your standard uh, behavior kind of thing. Now, I did that manually, but you can also do this sort of automatically, where if you right click a parameter, you can say click map to, and then you have velocity, you can map it to velocity, or you can map it to X, Y, and Z. You just bam, and then it does what I just did there. And of course, you could do more complicated mapping that does more interesting things. It's purely up to you. Um, certain parameters act a little weird when you map them. Like, uh, for example, if you go to the image uh, section, if you go to time and map that to X, uh, it's also still mapped. <laughs> Chris Warren and just map that, but oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, let's bring that back down to zero. Uh, yeah, can I actually see that? Because there's not anything in there. So let's put something in there. Let's put something short. I don't recall shift clicking. So if I not, if I turn the speed off and all that good stuff, and I, and I play the button, and then I move. Uh, X. I actually am moving through time twice. And uh, this is because of uh, the, the rotary nature of the time knob. Whereas, uh, like, if, if I were to, like, for example, if I wanted to uh, have time move, like, if I, because you can set a range, right? You can set a range of, for X modulation. Let's say I only wanted to move from here to here, right? I could set that. But what if I wanted to move from here to there? Like if I wanted this to be zero and that to be positive, like how would I do that? And that's because you can do this if I go to the mapping for uh, X modulation. Um, the top area that I would want to start at would be here. And then the top or the front area, I guess it'd be here and here would be that mapping. Yeah. So that bottom is here and top is here. That's why that's why there's twice the amount of range in the time knob is so that we can do this sort of go out one side and come back another. That's what that's for. Presumably that's the same thing for the uh, phaser mapping where this is actually the twice amount. Actually, no, it's not because if you start at one end, it just begins on the other. And that's because because the phasers are rolling filter and then when you bring it up, like more comes out of the top and bottom than it was a bit before. So. Not the same behavior as time knob, but time knob is particularly special. All of these knobs can be automated. Uh, these are basically these are basically the macros for uh, Harmer, like you would have in Massive. Or like if I wanted to map the time and filter, and like filter bandwidth, uh, what else? Uh, har harmonizer amount, phaser amount, all the one thing, I can do that. It would sound weird because I have that engaged. <laughs> and things get weird. That's pretty much what they're for. They're not terribly complicated. It's pretty straightforward. And I believe I, I don't think I can't think of anything that's really confusing about it or but except for the time knob thing. Like that that got me for a while. That was just weird me out. But um if you have any questions about it, uh let me know and I'll try to answer them. As usual, have a nice day.